I swear to God, with all this crap floating around, it looks like I just never cleaned my room. This week we're tackling one of my favorite hobbies and that is genealogy. Usually when I mention my addiction to genealogy, what I get back from others is a sincere interest. They wish they knew how to get started. They ask me for advice on how to get started or the genealogy bug has already bitten them. And then we just have fun trading stories. Every now and then though, I will meet somebody with zero interest and I mean zero. Not only do they not have any interest, they just don't get the point of it and they don't understand how it might be important. Genealogy? Really? What's the point? What does some guy who died centuries ago have to do with me? This is usually when I try to keep my head from exploding. <laughs> what does some guy who died centuries ago have to do with you? One word. Everything. If you are one of those people, bear with me and just hear me out. If you're someone who's interested in researching your family, let me give you another reason to be interested. And for those of you who already get it, let me give you a reason to smile today because you guys know where I'm going with this. So let's get started. I'm going to have you use your imagination for a second. Don't fight it. Just roll with me here. Let's say your 10th grade grandfather's name is Noah Washburn. And just for fun, let's pretend this is him. Again, obviously the photo isn't that old, nor is the guy in the picture named Noah Washburn. We're pretending. Let's think about Noah's life for a second. Like our lives, he would have had everyday things happening to him that were beyond his control. Things he would have needed to overcome or survive, such as natural disasters, tornadoes, earthquakes, volcanoes, wildfires, mudslides, hurricanes, bitterly cold winters, droughts, and the list goes on. Then there's epidemics, influenza, tuberculosis, smallpox, the Black Death. How about famines or war? There could even be work-related accidents, shipwrecks, mining accidents, hunting accidents, a shepherd being trampled by a shit ton of sheep. The point is there may have been a ton of things Noah had to survive in order to live long enough to have his children. If he did not survive, you would not be sitting there comfortably in your chair watching my crazy ass. You never would have existed. Now let's take it a step further. Think about all the decisions we can make on a daily basis that could change the course of our life. Sometimes there are big choices. Will I pick up and move to another state? Will I quit my job and start my own business? Sometimes your choices may seem small and not worth remembering. However, in the grand scheme of things, those little changes, those little decisions could lead to major change in our lives. Will I stay in or will I go out to my friend's party where I'll meet my future husband? So let's look back at Noah for a second. Maybe he decided to take a job other than the one he actually chose. Maybe instead of working on his family's farm, he decided to join the military. Maybe he decided to move to another town or village or even country instead of staying put. Maybe he decided to marry another woman before he got the chance to meet your 10th grade grandmother. The point being, if Noah made any choices differently, whether major choices or little choices that could have led to major change, it could have put his life on a completely different path, which may have led to you never existing. Now let's take this even further. You have two parents, four grandparents, eight great-grandparents, 16 second great grandparents and 32 third great grandparents. Stopping there for now, that's a total of 62 people that you directly descend from. Had any one of those 62 people not survived the uncontrollable or made decisions outside of the ones they actually made, any one of those 62, there's a very good chance you would not have existed. And let's not forget the same is true for the hundreds and thousands of other people I didn't have the room to represent. So for those of you who insist on asking, genealogy? Really? What's the point? What does some guy who died centuries ago have to do with me? One word, everything. Are you one of the people who are guilty of thinking that genealogy was pointless, but now you've had a change of heart? Are you a newbie who never really even thought of it from this angle? Maybe you've been at it for a long time like I have and you've got something you like to add. Or maybe you'd like to see me add some more genealogy videos to the mix. In any case, don't be shy, comment below. As always, I love hearing from you guys. I look forward to seeing you here again next week.